Hi, uh, this is what I want to achieve in this tutorial. So here's the page from tutorial 4 where you can see the grid view with all the uh, listing information. So I have a change status link I can click. Once I click this, uh, the status column will become uh, editable and I can use the drop down box to change the status quickly. So let's let me show you how we can do this. So let's close this. Let me just add a new page. Form. Let's call this uh, change status. And then here we add a grid view just like before. Design view, configure data source, and make sure you generate insert, update, and delete statements. Now let's take a look. So the grid view works. Uh, we're gonna use we're gonna change this column um, to show the actual status name, and also put a drop-down menu there if we want to add it. So let's continue to work on this. So first thing we need to change is the data source because we don't have the name of the status yet. It's from another table. So let's modify the select to include the other table. And check the status name. So the status name is also put in. Yep, good. Finish. Alright, so we can so now we can edit the column. So first of all we don't want to display this name here. Let me just get rid of it and move the status all the way up to the top. And then we convert this field into a template field so that we can edit um, how we want this column to look like. And okay. Now we can edit the template. So status is here. We choose the edit item template. So right now when we choose to edit, it will show a text box. So we will delete the text box and put in a drop down list. Choose data source. Create a new one. It will put uh, all the different status from the status table. And we're going to show name, but grab the code, which is the number. Add the data binding. So this will be bind to the status column. And then when we okay when we are in the item template, so this is the display. So currently it's showing the status code, but we want to show the actual corresponding status name. So we don't need two way binding, just one way is good. Evaluation. Right. So and template editing, and finally we want to add a uh, edit button. So when we click, it will allow us to edit. 
So let's go to oh edit columns. So let's add a it will be oh I think we can easily do that by enable editing. Cool. And one last thing. So let's take a look. So currently when I click edit, it will change this so I can sales pending, update, it becomes sales pending. But you also notice all the others are also available for editing. Uh, uh, I don't really want to do that. So I will disable all these. This can be done in the code. Go to source. So we can make all these read only. paste it a couple times. And since there's read only, uh, the insert command also needs to be changed. So the only thing, uh, not sorry, not insert, uh, update command. It should be further down. So when we update the record, the only thing we're going to update is the status. So we'll just take everything else out of here. Okay, so let's take a look. Right. So this is the uh, grid view. If I check, click edit, oh, only this can is allowed to be changed, so we'll change to close. Let's see, yeah, it is closed. Let's try one more. So it's pending, sold, become sold. All right, so mission accomplished.